Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you handle multiple browsers selection in Selenium automation projects? Let me answer and practically show you in this session. Okay, so we can programmatically handle this. Okay, we can write some kind of uh, logic using the programming language like Java, etc to select a particular browser. I'm going to show you that first. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this uh, demo class inside that we have this main method. Inside this main method, I'm going to write some code, okay, using which we can select a browser. I'm going to write some programming logic in Java along with Selenium to select a browser. I'll say Spring browser name. Here, I'll give one browser name, say Chrome, okay, for sample. Now here, I'll start writing the logic. If browser name, dot equals you can use equals or equals ignore case okay if you are not worried about the case then the equivalent of this equals is equal ignore case which is going to ignore the case whether this c is in upper case in chrome whether c is in upper case or c is in lower case doesn't matter okay so better than this equals i feel equals ignore case we can choose okay and here i can say if it is uh, equals ignore case chrome then i'll write down web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver like this okay for the mouse if this browser name is specified as chrome then we are going to write the statement like this okay web driver driver is called new chrome driver for the mouse on web driver and import it from selenium even for the mouse on chrome driver and import it from selenium that's it now else if this particular browser name dot equals ignore case okay if it is equals ignore case if it is five pots then what is the line you have to write web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver like this we have to write now over the mouse and import this firefox driver class from selenium library finally else if browser name dot equals ignore case if it is edge then i'll be writing Web driver, driver is equal to new edge driver. Okay, like this I'll write. For the mouse on uh, edge driver and import it from Selenium library, that's it. Now web driver driver is called new Chrome driver, web driver driver is called new Firefox driver, web driver driver is called to new edge driver, okay? These three browsers, you can write as many number of, uh, for every browser you can write down, okay? For sample, I'm writing for three browsers, okay? For selecting any of this browser from these three browsers, fine. Then here, finally, you can write else. Uh, provide a valid browser, okay? Browser name. If if uh, any other browser apart from this Chrome, Firefox, Edge is provided, then in this case, we'll provide, we'll print this statement into the output, okay? We'll not run any automation script, rather, this statement will be printed. Fine, all, all good so far. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm going to take this driver and write down driver dot manage. I'm not getting it because this driver is not global. You see, this driver is declared locally inside this e-block. This driver is locally declared in this LC block. This driver is uh, declared locally in this LC block. So how to make it global? To make it global, just uh, copy this and take it outside like this and remove the double declaration here. Don't declare it inside. Declare only it outside, okay? Like this. Web driver 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 is called new Chrome driver driver is called new Firefox driver driver is called new Edge driver, okay? Like this. Now we can access this driver externally outside the deep blocks. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then driver dot get. Here give the application URL. Again, some error is coming because we have to initialize this. Uh, here we have to say driver is equal to null or something okay then it will be gone now here give the application url that you want to open here give your dot one sample application i'll take copy this url and uh, paste it here that's it okay paste it here so let's see when, in which browser this application will get opened okay when the browser is mentioned as your browser name is mentioned as chrome in this case the Chrome is equal to Chrome. This e-block got satisfied. So Chrome browser will launch and uh, 
that Chrome browser will get maximized and application URL will get opened in the Chrome browser. Okay. So run this code and see what's happening. It will open the application in the Chrome browser. Okay. It'll open the application in the Chrome browser. So this is the programming logic that I'm talking about if else if else if kind of thing. Okay. So whatever the browser name you provide here, pass here, the, in that browser only the scripts, uh, the scripts will run. You see, uh, the, since Chrome is mentioned uh, in the Chrome browser, the application got launched. Now, what if I change this Chrome value to Firefox? In this case, what will happen? Firefox equals Signals case Chrome not matching. So it will go to the LC. Firefox equals Signals case Firefox. It's matching. So it will open the Firefox browser and match this. Something like that. Okay. Let's run this. And this time Firefox browser will launch. The script will run in the Firefox browser. Okay. Whatever the browser you store into this browser name, in that browser only, the script will run. Now Firefox browser, it will run. The application will launch in the Firefox browser in this example. You see, the Firefox browser, the application got launched. Okay, done. If you give it, it will launch in the Edge browser. If you give it, finally, if you give it, it will launch in the Edge browser. Okay, right click run as Java application. The script will run in the Edge browser. You see, Microsoft Edge web driver was started. Okay. In Edge browser, the script is getting run like this. Okay. So, this is the programming logic I am talking about here. How do you handle multiple browser selection in Selenium? By implementing some programming logic uh, to select the appropriate browser. Okay. But here, I don't want to, okay. I don't want to hard code this browser name. Okay. Instead of uh, mentioning this browser name in this uh, individual automation script, I would like to get this browser name from some centralized location. Okay. So how to make that possible? One of the way is uh, with the help of this uh, properties file, I'll create it again for you. I'll delete this uh, file. And again, I'll freshly create right click on this project and select new and select new file and name this file as you know, config dot properties. You can name it anything. But I'm just giving config as a name. And here I'll just say browser is equal to uh, Chrome. Okay. Save it. Now here in this uh, centralized properties file, browser is given as Chrome. So now I would like to get this browser browser value from this properties file. Okay. Instead of hard coding in the automation script, I would like to mention the browser name. I would like to run the automation scripts in this properties file. From the properties file, I should get the browser name. How to make that possible? So now we have to get the browser name from this properties file. For that, I'll be creating an object for properties class. Properties prop is equal to new properties. Properties. Okay, like this, I'll create an object for the properties class over the mouse and say import it and simply say prop dot load. And here we have to give the input stream. For that, I'll just create an object for file input stream. FIS is equal to new file input stream. Put a semicolon. And uh, here, hover the mouse and import it from java.io package. And now create file. File is equal to new file of. I have to give the path of this properties file. Okay, here I have to give the path of the properties file. So, for the mouse, import this file from java.io. Here, how to give the path? Since this properties file is directly created under the project, directly give the name here. There's no problem in this. Okay. Dot properties. So now this file, you pass it here. And now this file input stream, you pass it here. That's it. Okay. Now hover the mouse on this prop.load and say add throws. Ignore this. In real time, you have to surround this with try catch bug. But for now, we are ignoring the exception. Okay. Fine. We have loaded the properties file. Now instead of hard coding this uh, data here or browser name here. What I will do is I'll simply use this uh, object reference prop and say dot get property. Okay. From the properties file, I can get the value. Okay. So here, what is the name of the, uh, this uh, browser property? Browser is the name key. Okay. That key, you pass it here. Okay. It will get the get property of browser. It will get the value. Whatever the value that is assigned to this browser property that is Chrome will be retrieved by this get property method of this properties file class. And that will be stored into the browser name and here browser name like this. Okay. In real time, we do something like this. Okay. We don't hard code the browser name in the individual automation scripts. Rather, we centralize this browser required browser where the scripts need to run in the properties file somewhere. And from the properties file, we'll get the uh, browser value or browser name and that particular browser only will run the scripts. Okay. Run this script. 
you see it will run in the chrome browser because in the properties file browser is equal to chrome is mentioned you see in chrome browser it is starting okay it's uh, running the script is running okay what if i go to the properties file and change the value to let's say firefox in this case what will happen it will run in the firefox browser you see now run this from the properties file it, get, it will get the firefox browser as a browser in which uh, the script need to run and it will run the script on the firefox browser okay this time it is running the script on which browser firefox browser okay you see the script is getting run on uh, this firefox browser firefox okay there's a firefox like this okay and there's one more way okay if you don't want to use a properties file okay to get the browser name and all those stuff where the script need to run there's other way from which you can pass okay the browser value that is a remove all this code i would like to show you another way okay the logic is same the programming logic is same but uh, how you are how are you getting on which browser the script need to run is different okay i don't want to use the properties concept rather i would like to do another way you know uh, where i would like to get this browser name from the testng.xml file okay so for that what i have to do is i have to convert this method into the testng test method so i'll just say public void give some name let's say sample sample test okay like this i'll give some browser uh, name and i'll just uh, convert into testng test method over the most testng test method and under this right at the rate parameters okay at the rate parameters and uh, in uh, give circular brackets over the most import these parameters from testng and here whatever the value that we have to give inside circular brackets that will be done after we go to the testng.xml file go to the testng.xml file here there is one test and uh, here test.demo file is there this demo file only we are running the test methods inside the demo file in the demo file only we have this test method right that demo file is mentioned here and uh, here under this test i'll write down at the rate parameter name is equal to browser value is equal to just give some value let's say edge i'll give edge browser name i'll give edge and uh, like this you can do it okay self closes now there is a parameter that, that is getting passed okay browser is a parameter its value is edge okay so we can pass this parameter to the script how here in the editor rates parameter at the rate parameters uh, annotation you just uh, mentioned the name of this parameter that is bro browser is the name of this browser you should provide here okay done now just create a parameter here say string b or something and uh, pass this b here pass this assign this b to the browser name and whatever the parameter value we got from this testng.xml file okay from the testng.xml file if you get edge the script will run on which browser edge browser only save this and run the code this time the script should run on edge browser there are two ways okay there are different ways one of the way is to retrieve that browser name from the properties file there's a problem here okay we have to run the script uh, from the testng because uh, this will not be identified if you directly run from here you cannot run rightly run as you, you cannot it will not work out okay you have to run the testng.xml file which will invoke the test method inside the demo file okay so it's better to run the testng.xml file rather than directly running the demo dot java file okay when you are passing the parameter value from the testng.xml file better to run the scripts using the testng.xml file only okay you see in the edge browser the scripts are running script is script is running so these are the different ways uh, you know we can uh, select a browser or hand, handle selectioning uh, selection of browser from the multiple browsers available okay first of all the main thing is this program okay the programming logic that you have written here so whatever the browser that is uh, either hard coded here or read from the properties file or has been read from the testng.xml file will be compared here and in that in that uh, browser only the scripts will run okay because of this logic so hope guys you, you got the answer for this question that is how do you handle multiple browser selection in selenium so that's all for this session thank you bye bye